my protocol, even though it's called the goodbye lupus protocol or goodbye autoimmune disease protocol, what it really is, is it's a protocol that's specific to intentionally overdosing the body and the nutrients it uses to repair damage and to get that anti-inflammatory immune system really working robustly. And when that happens, people's health gets dramatically better and very quickly. I wanted to ask you about um, these um, itis diseases. They all have to do with inflammation. Type 1 diabetes is considered autoimmune. Is that have to do with inflammation as well, or is that something different? Autoimmune diseases uh, are, th there's many different kinds that can affect many different organs. And I really consider them to be one process, by which one, inflammation is a normal thing. I inflammation, we use it to 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 mean something negative, but but it's actually a natural process. We need the inflammatory immune system to help us attack viruses, to attack bacteria, to attack cancer cells. That's all part of our inflammatory immune system, right? But we're also supposed to have an active anti-inflammatory immune system. But for most people, that is suppressed because they don't eat the right foods to create it. It actually needs to be created from omega-3 fatty acids, and most people are very deficient in those. But if the inflammatory immune system runs amok because it is being fed and, and the, the inflammatory immune system is created off of arachidonic acid, which we can get from plant foods, but we get too much of it from animal foods and oils and processed foods. So for most folks, their inflammatory immune system and being fed all day long over and over again, every meal, every snack, they're not getting any anti-inflammatory to counterbalance it, and it starts to just run amok. And so with autoimmune diseases, and that very important inflammatory immune system now starts seeking out and destroying stuff that's actually ours that we want, right? So for me, it was my kidneys for people with diabetes. Uh, it, we're looking at the pancreas and the cells that produce insulin. So I have never yet gotten to help someone who was on their way to developing type 1 diabetes where we had a chance, you know, uh, because that would really be what it takes, right? We have to do it before those cells are destroyed, scar tissue right. takes over. However, I have helped a lot of people who have type 1 diabetes who did programs with me actually not for the type 1 diabetes, but because they also had arthritis or other health problems, high cholesterol, high blood pressure that they wanted to improve. And every single time within three weeks, they had to lower their insulin needs. And so we've never tested to find out, did they lower their insulin needs because they had some increased activity in their pancreas again? Was there recovery? Or is it that people with type 1 diabetes also have some insulin resistance too because of the junk they eat? And maybe they just needed less insulin because they're less insulin resistant because their diet's so much better. But either way, what I've seen is people with type 1 can lower their insulin needs and get rid of things like heart disease and high blood pressure so that they can live healthier, longer lives. But I've not yet seen a case where someone's completely reversed it. I have had a case of type one and a half diabetes, which is a more confusing that. kind get get reversed, right? Where they're saying it maybe it's inflammatory, but there's some insulin resistance. And we had somebody in our smoothie shred group, which is a free Facebook group we have for people, um, and uh, where someone showed their results where they reversed it just with my free content. So it's always worth doing. My my protocol, even though it's called the goodbye lupus protocol or goodbye autoimmune disease protocol. What it really is, is it's a protocol that's specific to intentionally overdosing the body and the nutrients it uses to repair damage and to get that anti-inflammatory immune system really working robustly. And when that happens, people's health gets dramatically better and very quickly. 